there is a traditional Japanese embroidery stitch called sashiko and it's traditionally done by hand but this piece of work could make a liar out of me because this has been done on this brilliant machine and you're going to show us how aren't you what we're going to talk through how we can do it it's fabulous this piece has been done using the circular attachment which is not done but there's nothing to stop you, you can draw your circles on yourself yeah. i know you have one of those <laughs> <laughs> but you can draw circles on yourself because occasionally you'll get a little tiny pin prick in the middle of it yeah. if you need to. Uh, well if you didn't do circles though you can do this as a continuous because i've done you this can, design yes. uh, like, like this with a walking quilting, foot yeah. Um, use a stencil so, to do yes, it so you can yeah, do it on the stencil. But it is continuous as opposed to circular. Yeah, there are different ways yes. of doing it. Yeah. So again, on the machine, we're going to pop back into the quilting section. So we're going to select it here, into the quilt section. Okay. And then so it's I'm going thought to, of as a quilting stitch. As it a, comes as under a quilting stitch. And I'm going to look now at stitch number 71, okay. which is the one we're going to use on All here. Right. So I'm going to pop the lid down again. And we can just go through. We can just scroll screens. through on the bottom, all the stitches. There's so many quilt stitches on this, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's towards the end. There, we, there go. we go, stitch 71. number 71. And again, when I'm using this stitch, I tend to lengthen it. Make it a bit It will longer. go up to a maximum of five. Right. And that's it. And then it's exactly the same. You're threading monofilament on the top, the colour threading the bobbin, the same as for the hand look quilting. Okay. And then off you go. So you can be as traditional as you like. That's quite a traditional one. Nice straight done. Line. And it's just... Just mark them out, and again, the quilting guide bar. This is such a handy little thing that we <laughs> quite often forget we've got tucked yeah. away in there. So, do you start and start each one? Yes, I started this, over. I've just yeah. done this on some felt. Yeah. So, I would start, I would mark it out, and then do the square, and then just yeah. diagonal, and then work that way, and then work back across from the centre out. Okay. And again, so I've got that one, and there's just a few more different variations on here. So, it's just a single one. We've got like a cross hatched and again the circular attachment and I've just gone freehand oh, yeah. with a little like sun rays coming out of the corner so you can really really just yes. have fun with it there are a lot of traditional patterns that you can copy well I was going to say if you've got a stencil yeah. of the traditional and again Japanese that's style. just one that's done on the quilt sample so again it's just the cross hatching it's just very very agreed. effective yeah I certainly wouldn't have time to sit there and do it by hand no, so and those of us who love our sewing machines, and I and I really yeah. do, I, I, I just love it. It's never a hardship to spend time with it my sewing machine. It certainly isn't, and it's nice to just explore it and yes. look at using different stitches yeah. in different ways. Love this. I love this. Well, thank you very much. Yet another way to spa spend uh, a few hours in my sewing room.